Hello, in this video, there are three steps. The first is to create a PNG with the format you want to turn into a mask. The second is to bring it in and create the stencil. So let's begin by opening up Keynote and open a new document, then go over to my presentation here, Basic Black, and then let's go ahead and delete all the content. There's three pieces here, that's the first one. Now we have a clear screen. Next step, is to make sure that the image is at the right size. We want 4K, so let's go ahead and select the custom size and make that 3840 pixels by 2160 pixels. And that 3840 by 2160 is 4K. That'll make for the best stencil when we complete the project. Next, let's add some text and we'll make that Mac Mingle. Then let's select the format option and uh, text. And then let's go ahead and change the size of the font from 96 up to something larger. Mm. 400 is not quite large enough. Let's make it a little larger. That looks good. Let's position that in the center of the screen. Maybe make it Bold, a little larger, almost there. Let's look at the font style. It's Helvetica New. This is chalkboard. Don't quite like that. Let's choose impact. Now that looks good. So this is the image we've created. So we're going to complete the first step by saving this as a PNG. And we want to be sure to save it with the background. So go ahead, export, images, and then it defaulted here to JPEG. Let's change that to PNG and make sure that that's not checked because we want it with the background. And then we save that and we give it a name. And we'll save it in Moscow 1 and we'll go ahead and give it the name. So this is the mask text. So if you already have an image, you would begin by bringing in an image that's a PNG with a stencil available. So here we are. Let's open a new page. We're going to do all this in iMovie in one pass. Open a blank screen. And then go to Media. And let's choose what we want to bring in. We want to bring in that file we exported. And that's there under Mark, Mask Test. And then we bring Mask Test back in. And now we have that PNG loaded on page two. It looks the same as page one, but there is a difference. This is a PNG. So click off the slide. And once you click off the slide, this screen appears. Take that color fill and let's go ahead and change it to green. That means behind this, there is a green. So you've got this JPG and we've got this green behind it. So what we're going to do now is take pick select image and we're going to remove a background character at a time. So we go over the E, click it and drag it. As we drag it, it turns red. We don't want it to be a red. We want it to be 100%, but not red. There, and let go. And now you can see the background that's green. So now I'll go ahead and do the others in sped up motion so that effectively we're cutting out the text. And there we are. We've completed the cutout of the text. And now let's go back to that color fill because we don't need to see it anymore. We needed to see it to see that we're doing it correctly. We'll say no fill. And now it looks like there's nothing there, but it's there. It's just that it's in a different color. And with that done, we can go ahead and save this as our stencil. This is the stencil we'll use with our videos. And we only need the second page, two of two. And this time we want a PNG and we want it with the transparent background. Check that box and save it. And that becomes our stencil for any upcoming projects that we might choose to work on. And let's save it in Moscow one again. And we've given it the name stencil this time. So we know this is the one we use. So next we're going to show how we use this in iMovie. So open up iMovie, 
That's a command on the space bar in iMovie. And let's create a new movie. Let's name that as a mask demo. Now let's open that up. And then drag a video in. This is a video panning over some red apples. Drag that to the timeline. And now let's go get up stencil. Find that stencil and we'll bring it back in here. Here it is. You can see the stencil going in. And now we drag that over on the second layer on the video track. And we can see the stencil's effective already. Let's drag it to the full size of the video or as far as you want to go. And as you pan over, you can see through the cutout, the image behind. What we can do now is we can change the opacity by selecting that double box as a cutaway. And as you adjust the opacity, the background becomes visible. When you run this now, you have the Mac Mingle fixed in place with the video behind it. So now let's use the uh, Ken Burns effect to make the text move. We've got the text selected and reduce it to a size and say, we're going to zoom into that part of the screen. So effectively the Mac Mingle will appear to move. And here we are, we're watching it. The Mac Mingle's moving up towards us and the background is the video. And that's the next step we completed. Now for the next step, we're going to show how to fade out. As it comes up, we want the screen to fade out. So we go into the video and we press the Option button and select that little circle and drag it to the left. And you can see, as the video is running, that the Mac Mingle disappears. And that's all there is. And that's how we make masking work two different ways. I hope you found that helpful. And if so, please subscribe and like. Thank you so much for watching.